Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to discuss about the assumptions that we make before creating a linear regression model and how we can test them. So today's idea is, let's say you are given some problem and you want to create a linear regression model, but before creating a linear regression model, you uh, there are some assumptions are made. Uh, and you need to make sure that your data set is following those assumptions. Then only your linear regression model will uh, perform well. If one of if one of the those assumptions is not being followed by your data set, then your model is not going to uh, perform well during the uh, training or testing. So let's get started. One of those assumptions that we make before creating a linear regression model is that uh, there is a linear functional form among the independent variables and the dependent variable. Let me take you through an example and then I will take you uh, uh, through the Python code and will make you understand how we can test that a particular data set is following uh, the assumptions that should be uh, uh, required for a linear regression model. And before uh, jumping on to that part, uh, this is the data set. And this data set is of a power, uh, power plant. So uh, you are given with some attributes like ambient temperature, volume, ambient pressure, relative uh, humidity, and the power output. That means there are few parameters are given and power output tells that your power plant is generating how much, how much power. So, uh, there is uh, let's don't go that note that much into the uh, data set uh, this is a very simple data set uh, very similar to the you know house price prediction data set uh, but the idea in this video is that we need to make sure let's say we are given with this data and we need to make sure that this data set is uh, following the assumption of linear functional form that means the independent variable in this case we have four independent variable ambient temperature volume ambient pressure relative humidity and this is our independent variable uh, sorry this is our target variable predictive uh, uh, predictive variable that we want we can say is power output so we need to make sure that there is a linear relationship between ambient temperature and power output similarly there is a really linear relationship between volume and power output how we can check this so this is the problem this is the data set before going on to the Python code, let me take you through the, uh, the equation of linear, uh, this, our, this is the linear reg regression equation. Uh, it's, it is, uh, you must have read in your school days, this is uh, a straight line equation. Where uh, this is the coefficient and this is the intercept. And X1 is when, let's say, assume that we have only one variable. In that case, this linear equation becomes like this way and assume that if we have two variables x1 and x2 then it can be written as in this form and let's say when we have n variable the generalized form is this one now uh, the idea here is that we want to make sure that the uh, there is a linear relationship between y and x so that means in more simpler terms if i draw a graph between uh, let's say x and y then there is a some sort of line is getting formed that that line can be of this form or maybe of this form or any form but it should be somewhat similar to a, uh, a straight line uh, as much it will be uh, as much as it will be a straight line then there will be more linear uh, strong linear relationship will be there so in uh, in our current problem we want to make sure that for single uh, for single variable, this is the way, uh, but we have four variables. So how we are going to check that there is a single, uh, let's say a linear relationship between Y, I and X1. When we will be checking this, we, we will assume that other X terms are constant. So that means 
uh, in this case what we will be doing we will be uh, creating a graph between x2 uh, sorry x1 x1 first x1 first and y1 and then we will check how the how the line comes in and then 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 what we will do we will create another graph between y and x2 considering my x1 is constant and when i will be drawing a graph with x1 then i will consider x2 is constant so that means we will pick one variable and consider other variables as constant x variables and we will draw a graph and we will check if there is a linear relationship between y and x or not if there is a linear relationship then it is a good data set for our linear regression now let's jump on to the uh, our python code uh, let me take you through it so i have just in this uh, block of code i just imported the required libraries uh, pandas matplotlib numpy and other libraries just imported and now i am reading the csv file which i just shown to you so pd dot read csv and uh, df dot head will give me the first five rows of my data set so this is my data set now this power output this power output is my uh, target variable or predict uh, or pre uh, predictive variable or uh, dependent variable we can say and these four are my independent variable and we, uh, and we want to make sure that there is a linear relationship between this variable and this variable then this volume and power output ambient pressure and power output and relative humidity and power output if there is a linear relationship then it is a good data set uh, for the linear regression otherwise uh, it will not give us a, a valid a valid data or uh, sorry valid performance uh, now to check this how how we can check this to check this what i am just doing is i am going to draw a scatter plot of uh, let's say first i am plotting between ambient temperature and power output in simpler terms you can you can think of that i have given with x values and y values and i am just plotting those values on an xy graph so that's what i am going to do i'm going to create a scatter plot and then you can see now this is the you can see this the data points are in 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 a almost a, a linear line equation so there is a straight line from almost straight line is forming then looking at this scatter plot we can say that there is a linear relationship among ambient temperature and power output the similar way we can check for, uh, for other variable let's say for volume and ambient pressure now let's do that so in next line i'm checking the um, i'm plotting the points bet uh, between volume and power output again assume that i have be been given with x values and y values and i'm just drawing them on to a uh, xy graph so now you can see that uh, although this was almost a very good uh, straight line almost to a straight line this also has some sort of straight line but not that much as much uh, it was there with in the previous case for the ambient temperature but still there is they, we can draw a straight line somewhat a straight line here so we can say that uh, volume and power output has almost similar uh, has almost a linear relationship among them then our third variable is ambient pressure the same thing i am going to do same line of code i am just changing the value of uh, x variable which is ambient pressure in this case i'm just going to drop this now you can see that uh, points are scattered in, in a way there is also a probability or chance of uh, creating a straight line here but it has also decreased as compared to the previous case and the last one if i uh, the relative humidity and power output the same way if i drop it uh, draw it now you can see that it is kind of it is kind of creating a funnel shape this this sort of shape is appearing from the data set so this is not a very good uh, this this scatter plot is not showing a very good uh, relationship linear relationship between relative humidity and power output 
the other way what we can do uh, the from the scatter plot what we have concluded we can verify with the help of correlation correlation function is the uh, is present we can what we can do we can calculate the correlation coefficient value using this method uh, using this df dot core this method um, and it will give us the coefficient and it will tell us how these variable are interconnected or have a relation with each other now let's say i i have now you can see that ambient temperature is showing that it has um, value minus 0 0.94 minus means uh, and all these i am checking with respect to power output so what it is saying that ambient temperature has a negative correlation with the power output and you can see this from graph as well and when i say negative correlation negative correlation means when ambient temperature will increase my power output will decrease and when my power output will increase my ambient temperature will decrease so that's why this this is what this negative sign signifies and you can see this the same thing uh, from the graph as well so this was the our graph you can see that when ambient temperature is increasing towards like 5 10 20 25 and 30 my power output is getting decreased so that means there is a negative correlation but they have a very strong correlation and because the value is almost equal to uh, minus one so and one more thing i'm uh, i want to tell you that correlation value always co correlation coefficient value always ranges between minus one to one so minus uh, the value which is more uh, near to minus one that means those variables are highly negatively correlated that means one will decrease other will increase so this is the first variable the second variable volume this again also has minus uh, in sign that means when volume is increasing my power output is decreasing and this has 0 0.68869 as i shared with you earlier from the scatter plot we can say that almost one not exact very similar to no not very exact straight line but at least we can find data pattern somewhat to a straight line so that's why it has a value of 0 0.61 ambient pressure you can see that uh, this has positive value 0 0.51 and you can check that although this this 0 0.5 means uh, it it has a positive correlation with power output and ambient pressure uh, first thing is that when ambient pressure is increasing power output is also increasing but the correlation between these uh, these are not that much highly correl correlated with each other as the previous variables were because the value is 0 0.5 so that's why value is 0 0.5 that's why we we can see from the scatter plot as well we are not getting a very good straight line here although we can create we can draw a, some straight line uh, using these data points but but uh, that straight line will not cover uh, most of the data points or it, it will not be a very good fit for the rest of the data point most of the data point that's why so th this thing depicts this one and the, for the last one relative humidity this has very minimum 0.38 uh, as a value of correlation coefficient and you can see even from this graph we there is no scope or very minimum scope is appearing for uh, creating a straight line over here because data points are scattered in a shape of somewhat funnel shape or um, or they are not in shape of uh, a straight line uh, or a straight line which can best fit almost all of the data points so this is how we can find out uh, that which variable are uh, following the linear relationship and which are not and guys if we find some linear if we find some uh, variables which are not following linear relationship with the uh, with the pr uh, target variable uh, then we can drop them or uh, because you can see there are two i have shown two proofs one is that there is from that scatter plot we can see that there is not a not a straight line pattern is appearing from the data point the second proof i have, sh I have shown is that correlation coefficient value is also very minimum 0 0.38 that means 
38 percent of relations core these two feature are correlated with each other power output and relative humidity so guys this is how we can find out uh, how the uh, how the independent features are related with the dependent feature and the we should always keep those feature which has a linear relationship if some feature uh, or some independent variable are not having linear relationship with the uh, dependent or target variable we should drop them that's that's how we can uh, do a better or perform better while creating a linear regression model so from this exercise what we concluded that ambient temperature has a linear relationship with power output because it has a correlation of minus 0 0.94 which is almost equal to minus one and it it also shows almost a very uh, very similar to a pattern of straight line the second volume has mostly linear linear relationship with power output mostly because the value is uh, you can see this is the well this is the graph volume one and power output and correlation coefficient is minus 0 0.86 so it's almost a linear uh, line we can create a linear line and uh, the ambient pressure and the power output uh, ambient pressure for ambient pressure not a very very linear relationship with because it has a value of 0 0.51 so although we can create a line straight line here but that is that is not going to be a best fit or that is not going to cover our most of the data points and lastly um, relative humidity has no linear relationship with our power output as i shown you from this graph you can see that there is from these data points like these scattered data points we can see that there is no uh, pattern which shows that we can create a, a straight line or a straight line uh, to which uh, most of the data points are very nearby so from this we can conclude that we should drop relative humidity in this case before proceeding uh, for creating a linear regression model so that's all for today's video guys uh, keep watching my channel for such interesting videos on machine learning if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it i have created a full machine learning playlist for absolute beginners you can uh, watch it and go i would recommend uh, you to go step by step follow each video in the sequence then it will make more sense to you and you would be i'm sure you would be able to make most out of it and you would um, you would